Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition. And we are here with the Leo Plea, who are currently celebrating the fact that we have just built a whole bunch of little factories that look like beach gift shops. Because that is what one of the creatures, one of the civilizations in the new area of the universe that we are currently exploring, actually uses as their factory. And I love the idea that we've just kind of like maybe kidnapped a whole bunch of their citizens and we're forcing them to like work for us at this little beach shop. And I'm also amazed that somebody actually made this. So the things that people can make in sport just completely blow my mind because I'm just grateful when I'm able to make like a different colored space cat, but people have actually made things like this. So we have basically our little beach like planet and we've actually got some really cool uh, creatures over here. We've got some big old, uh, big old dragons, which are pretty cool looking. We have some sea slugs and I put down like a whole bunch of these little deserts as the entertainment places and they're kind of like the beaches that I'll say that everybody gets to go to. But it's a pretty cool planet. It's kind of like a little pink island planet and it has uh, all the pink spice geysers and it is one of the new places that we have actually colonized on the other side of the universe than where our our home planet is. I'm kind of missing home planet, but we're still doing a lot of exploring out here right now. And I really love it when they will buy things for that much. Thank you very much, my good friend. And actually, does he sell anything that we need for just being able to explore? Let's check really quickly. <gasps> planet Busters! Those are going to be so cool to use in the future. We don't really need to use them right now, though, and I don't want to upset the locals because the only locals of a galactic space exploring stage that we have met so far are these little guys, and they're so cute. They're the little dragon guys. We have yet another small dragon species as our friend. These ones are called the Hollow Crust Fast, and they are pretty adorable. So do they want anything? You know, yellow spice for that price isn't terrible. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it to them. And they probably think that we're their best friends because that was a lot of yellow spice and it's very easy. We've actually worked very hard to upgrade some of our home planet uh, territories, our home planet colonies to be able to get a lot of spice really fast. Oh my gosh, they have spread. <gasps> we need to make sure they don't spread to a planet they want. So we need to do a little bit of poking around. They can have the like less worthy planets, but anything that has like purple spice or pink spice or just a cool looking system, that's going to belong to us. And this is the ride home. That is the wormhole. I think I, I think I can rename that system. So we kind of need to rename it so we know that that's the way home. Like maybe tail one. I feel like we should name everything that will take us back to our home galaxy. Like the, the, first, the first journey, the first tail. Something really cool like that. The first fight. Hmm. We'll figure it out. All right. And then let's see. Is this another one? Yeah, there's so many of these double sun areas over here. <gasps> Ooh, and this is a good one. All right, so we're gonna come in. We'll colonize this puppy. Ooh, this one looks nice and toasty. I mean, I imagine it would be very toasty here when you have two suns, but still. We found a rare galactic formation. Sweet. And let's go ahead. We're gonna work on this guy. We need our air conditioning. Use on a planet to lower its temperature and raise its atmosphere. That's exactly what we need to do. So I think I mentioned to you guys last week how I really want to work hard in Sims 4 and make it so that we can have my Sims and Sims 4 write stories that could reflect the spore creatures. I think that would be really, really, really fun, especially if we could then sell those custom books, say, in one of the space stations that I want to build in Sims 4 as well. But do you guys ever do things like that where you kind of do crossovers between your games? Because I think that that is so much fun. It's one of my favorite things to do when I am playing different games. All right, this small plant is perfect. It looks like it will be able to tolerate the extreme heat that is over here too. All of these guys do actually. They're kind of like, this is kind of like a cactusy tree. In fact, that's not a tree, that's a cactus. It's a cacti forest. So that makes me pretty happy. All right, and then let's see, the foo cat we could probably put down. Um, the food cat looks like it would eat its own young to me. The deer cat is the only other thing we have here. So we're going to put the food cat down. And they're just going to have to endure being carnivores, like, or cannibals for a moment. Because I need to go get more... Oh, that's right. Ooh, what's over here? Because I need to go get more animals in order to colonize the rest of that. Or terraform the rest of that. And then I'll just smack down, like, a colony somewhere, I think. Are pirates coming? Oh! <gasps> The Fugat species starved to extinction! I killed them! I feel a little bad now. Alright, well let's pop over here. Oh, this is a piece of treasure. 
I guess I could take this treasure back to my little treasure planet. I have a new mossy treasure planet where I'm collecting all of these things. Yeah, I'll just throw down a colony for now. Don't worry, you guys. I'll be back. I'll take care of things. I just need you to claim the system in the name of the Leopli. Also, these rocks are so cool. I mean, look at how gorgeous that looks. I love these rocks. The way that they, they're shaped. I love the, the formations. Ooh, look at the galactic formation in the background. <gasps> That's so cool. And then the geysers. I feel like the Leopli would be a species who would really appreciate the more rough and tumble look of some of the planets in the universe. All right, let's see. I'm going to keep everything. All right, you guys hang in there. I'll be back. I promise. I need more plants and trees, actually. So let's go abduct some aliens and gather up some of their, their plants, too, and throw down a few colonies if we need to. Here's another one of the rare galactic formations. I guess we might as well claim this one soon. Talk about being out in the backwaters, though. Oh, apparently there's something here. But yeah, this would definitely be a little bit in the backwaters for one of our colonies. I wonder if we'll just like send some of our rejects over here. <gasps> Maybe what we could do, let's pick this up and we'll take the treasure with us. You found a super old clay pot from the collection of 10 rare relics. Maybe what we can do is we're going to make this the reject colony. This is going to be where we send the Leopli who are too peaceful and we'll like make a whole bunch of really peaceful creatures. And this will be like a super peaceful planet, but they're reject Leopli because they're pacifist and they want to live a nice calm life. They don't want to be bothered by anyone. I love that idea. I love that idea. They want to lead a life of like no harm and just harmony. And that's so against the Leopli way that we have tossed them out. We have chucked them into the corner where they can just like, and maybe they're, they're descended some, from some like rich family line. So we can't just like literally chuck them into space. So we'll just leave them over in this tiny little corner and they can hang out next to this, um, this other wormhole. I really need to go back and name that wormhole. I'm so worried I'm going to get lost. Because when you get lost through the wormholes, it can just be a big pain in the rump to ever find your way home again. Oh, there's some animals here. All right, let's go steal some plants. Ooh, there's something over here too. Let's go steal some plants and animals, and then we will go and work on the pacifist Leopli. Maybe we'll call that the gentle lotus or like the... No, we'll call it like the wimpy lotus. That's what the planet's going to be called because they're wimps. And there's more treasure. All right, we've got to take all this stuff to our little treasure spot. You found the bust of Bradford from the collection of 10 rare statues. Interesting. All right, so let's see. The dragon beard slug. I've got to see what you look like, my friend. Let us go and investigate the dragon beard slug because it sounds like amazing. And these trees are beautiful. Holy days, I think these are my new favorite trees. I'm going to gather lots of them. All right, and then what are you guys? You guys are kind of awesome. No, not the spore guide. I know how to play spore. <laughs> it's been a long time. Look at them. They're so cool. I love their shell. Why did I not think about trying to make a snail like that? That is so neat. I might uplift you guys. I might uplift you guys, or I might let the Leo play turn you into caviar. I'm going to have to think about it. Escargot. Dragon beard escargot in the making. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to be escargot before they're going to be... Um... <gasps> they're so beautiful. I found birdies. I found gigantic seagulls. <laughs> you probably eat these guys. <laughs> That's awesome. I love them. I love them. And then we found like these giant shrimps. These guys have to come and be part. <gasps> These guys have to come and be part of life over on our planets. Get over here. You guys are too cool. I want all of you. You need to come to my little like party planet. You need to come join me. All right. So who else is here? Because we found some really cool things over here. All right. Anybody over here? Anybody over here? No, nobody there. Let's pop up. Okay. Anybody over here? Anybody over here? A lot of my little future escargots. Then what are you, my little friend? You look violent. The lion fisk. This is awesome because these guys are just like all, almost all like ocean related animals. There's gulls and then there's like lion fish and there's so many other things. I like this planet. This planet's cool. All right. So we're going to have to probably go back to our other planet um, to put those down. 
Let's see if there's a cool plant that we can steal from over here. Where's the cool little let's see. There's the plants. But yeah, we need to go see our beach planet again because I have a new haul of things that I can deliver to our beach planet. All right, and there's the medium plants. These are really cool looking. All right, so now I have enough to hopefully get a little bit of a start on making the pacifist planet. Um, we'll just, eh, maybe we'll just put the plants down on the pacifist planet and we'll call it the, the Wimpy Lotus. So we're going to rename the system Wimpy Lotus or, um, uh, no, like we'll rename system. Let's see. That's a blue spice planet and they're wimps and they're like the peaceful. We'll rename them the, um, rejects. It kind of reminds me of playing Mass Effect actually. And I know that I can't remember the race name, but like the, the all female race sometimes have children who use their mind control powers for evil, like their psychic powers for evil. And they isolate them on a temple planet. So we could name this like rename system, uh, system. And I wonder why I want to rename it. It's a very pretty system. Uh, let's see. Like Wimp Galaxy, Reject Galaxy. That sounds so mean. But um, let's see. Embarrassing Peace. You know, something like that. We'll just name it like the the symbol of peace. Or the, yeah, like why not like peace? We'll just rename it. Ah, dang it. Star. Oh wait, rename Star. Um. Let's see, peace, rename star. Why is this so hard? Uh, twins of peace, there we go. We'll just do that and then we're gonna get down on the planet and we'll rename the planet the Wimpy Lotus. All right, rename planet Wimpy, Wimpy Lotus. Cause that's what this planet's all about, the Wimpy Lotus. All right, because they're they'll call themselves the lotuses, and we'll call them the wimps, and that's just the way that life is. All right, so let's go ahead and terraform it a little bit, because we're gonna say it's like it's super embarrassing for the Leopoli to admit that they have such peaceful prodigy among their ranks, but uh, they're probably descended from like some royal matrilineal line of the Leopoli, and we can't just toss them out into the space ducks because they they're just too. They're just related too much to some of the more famous Leopoli that have been in the past. So we'll go ahead and take care of them and then we'll try to ignore their existence. They have no water. This is probably going to be a problem in the future. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's see. This is a cool little plant. Let's see. Was that a medium plant? That was a grass. Here's a medium plant. Yay! They're getting some water. Thank goodness. Here's the really pretty vineyard plant. And there they go. So they are now stabilized. Do they have any any peaceful animals that I have picked up or any cool animals I've picked up? Um, the deer cat. The deer cat would be a perfect addition to their land. So we'll put the deer cat down. Um, I think not the swamp cat. The space caterpillar. Probably. The space caterpillar would probably be a good addition. And then I picked up a couple others. I, I wonder where did they go? There's the swamp cat. And then I also have... There's that carnivore. The gull. I picked up that gull. Um, I think we'll go ahead and add in one of the cats then. One of the carnivorous cats. Well, let's add in this bird, actually. I feel like the dance of that bird would interest uh, our, new, our new group. All right, there's one of the plants I like. Uh, that little lollipop plant I really like. Let's see, but this guy's even better. And do I seriously not have a medium plant again? What? This is so embarrassing. I'm supposed to be terraforming ex expert, like terraforming extraordinaire. I don't have another medium planet. Oh my gosh. But this is turning into such a pretty planet. <gasps> the wimpy lotus. Hang in there, you guys. I am going to grab you another bush from somewhere. I have no idea where. And then I have to take back the lionfish to our little beach planet and continue claiming a lot of the really cool planets. I need to stop off and like recharge really quickly. Meanwhile, you guys have the embarrassing job of watching after the wimpy lotuses, so good luck with that. And I need to take the treasure somewhere. Um, where else should I explore? So, embarrassingly, we need to just find, like, a freaking a bush yet again. I never have enough bushes. But that's true in everything in life, because I love greenery so much. Alright, let's put down a little small plant. I have a perfect plant that will match with all of these. Do I like those bushes? I don't like those bushes. 
I know we just need to pick up some bushes, but if we're going to only have one planet in the entire universe dedicated to peaceful Leopoli, then I want it to be a nice planet. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. And then, let's see, let's come on in. Why am I here? There's nothing here. I knew there was nothing here and I zipped in anyway because it just becomes automatic after a while. All right, there's a creature over here. So if, where there's a creature, there's bushes. That's usually the way it goes. So let's pop in and see. Ooh, I like these bushes. I like these trees. All right, so do I like these bushes? Kinda, they kinda look like bonsai trees, so I will accept them. And apparently I can I cannot accept anything else, which is a bit of a pity, because I kinda wanna see what kind of animals live here. Ooh, what are you guys? Are those the cosmic space slugs? I'm pretty sure those are, is that an octopus? <gasps> They're tiny little coral slugs! Oh my gosh, I want one! All right, I have enough of these bird guys. I were having like, uh, like chicken legs for dinner, I guess. No, I didn't want the cosmic space slug. Okay, I got the coral slug, that's all right. I wanted the coral slugs because those are adorable. Those are just adorable. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab the coral slugs and let's head back over to our lotuses. Our wimpy lodi, lodi, our wimpy lotuses need us. So we're gonna zip back over here, finish taking care of their planet for just a moment. They're not even, we're not even gonna let them produce anything. I think they'll, they'll believe like in non-materialistic sort of cultures. So all they will have is just like happiness and we'll just kind of scowl at them. Like, honestly, you're not a real, you're not a real Leo play. In my day, we weren't just content with being happy. We went out and we slathered barbecue on everything that we would eat for dinner. So uh, we don't approve of them from an overall cultural point of view, but we're stuck with them. All right, now the goals are very pretty. So we'll have the birds here. And then I need to get like a few other things. Did I have those? Let's see, these guys. I guess bird, bird animals in general would be a good thing to put down. And then the coral slug can complete that system. And then I'm out of bushes that would balance everything out again. But let's go ahead and take all of these kind of um, beach related animals over. Stay there, Wimpy Lotuses. We'll take care of them. This will be fun. We'll kind of pop in and out on the wimpy lotuses and keep an eye on them. Um, holy days, it's hard to get to that spot. So that's pretty interesting. And let's take back the rest of this hall. Oh, wow, wow, we've got a new planet. We've got some interlopers. They're trying to move in. They're trying to move in on potentially good planetary space. We, I knew we shouldn't like neglect this area too long. Look at this, there's already two new empires that have moved in on our territory. Planet Quack from Eco Disaster? Do you guys have any idea how far away I am from everything right now? <laughs> oh no, we'll have to see if we can save the planet from an eco disaster uh, in just a second, which just means a barbecue. It just means that we're being invited to throw a barbecue with the Leo play. That's how we look at it. And then if we were with uh, the Finna, who are our other spore race, they take things much more seriously when it comes to, um, oh wow, there's like a whole little herd of dragons right over here. Hey guys! Hey, I guess you're part of the barbecue now. Sorry about that. Leo play appetites and all that nonsense. All right, they're doing okay. <laughs> they survived. But yeah, um, the Leo play would be the kind where an eco disaster means that they just get to throw a barbecue. Like it's an invitation to a barbecue that you can kind of get like reputation for going to. But if this happened to be the Finna, then they would take it very seriously. We would have to have a very large discussion about how this eco disaster could have occurred. And we would do our best to remif like, cause, like, remify any of the problems and discuss this in depth and all of that nonsense. But it is not them. And let's see, maybe these guys? Yeah, there we go. But we don't have those guys, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's put the goals down, because the goals are awesome and like beachy related. And then who else is kind of beachy related? Um, I want to put the lionfish down. Come on, survive, little guy, survive. And I want to put these guys down. Come on, come on. No, I can't add him in because the lion fisk is op uh, like occupying that spot. Well, phooey, phooey. All right, well, we'll put these birds down. 
There we go. And the planet seems to be like kind of evening itself out. I've never really seen the cliffs just rise like that. But there we go. So now we have a one little corner of the galaxy taken care of once again. And we have a T3 beach planet that sells beach shirts, <laughs> which I think is awesome. And where is the ego disaster? Um, sorry. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do anything about that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and meet these new guys. The Mermaid Empire. Freaking awesome. That's so cool because there's so many beach-related things here. Apparently, we need to go to war with mermaids. Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode. Oh my gosh. They're actually mermaids. Apparently, we are traveling... Like, in just beach zone. Let's come over. Okay, hello? The flame unit empire? That you've wandered into our territory does not speak well for your intelligence. The Zellor flame... Oh, hello there. All right. We may have... Oh, we're already making the mermaids mad. And we got the Explorer 3 badge. Sweet. Explored over 100 systems. Our civilization sings the praise of Spode, who taught us truth and enlightenment. You, however, remain in the darkness. What do you want with us? Well, I'm going to say, call off your fighter before I blast it in pieces. You know what? That's what we would say. All right. So they are alert for Spore's unbelievers. And they have a T0 planet with some interesting valleys and some treasure. Do I have room? We have, then they have some treasure we're immediately going to steal. Just to make the mermaids mad. Sweet! Alright, and we got the Collector 3 badge for doing that. And we have gone to war with the mermaids. Alright, you guys. Clearly things are heating up in this corner of the universe. And it's going to be a very interesting event to see what we're going to do with fighting with the mermaids. I also need to figure out where the heck I put all my treasure. Because I'm pretty sure I was smacking my treasure down somewhere. And was it over here? I think it was way over here. I really should have named my treasure planet so that I know where to put all of my treasure. <laughs> Pretty sure there it is. This is where all my treasure goes. All right. And then let's go ahead and put all of our treasure down. And then next time, I think we are going to have to prepare to do war with the Mermaid Empire and take care of our peaceful wimps that belong to us. Oh, I thought I heard like pirates coming down on me for a second. I was like, no. All right, so here goes the bust of Bradford. Can I get a close look at that guy? <gasps> That's so cool. And then we have the super old clay pot. So this is just kind of like where we're leaving all of our treasure. And then we have the stones of force. It's I kind of like leaving um leaving it here on a planet that has so much like volcano activity and comets and things like that, meteors hitting, because it's kind of like no one's gonna mess with our stuff. All right, so there we go. Treasure Planet is loaded up with more treasure. I absolutely love it. We probably need to rename it like the Mossy Treasure Chest. So I'll do that in just a second. And then next time we will wage war on the mermaids and take over their territories and continue exploring this side of the galaxy as well as potentially going back home, gathering up some uh, spice and just seeing how we can spread Leopold influence throughout the universe. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.